Slovenia won, Denmark won. To be truthful, guys, this game, I barely watched it, but I watched it in, in bits and moments, so I'm just going to talk about those moments. I I think the game was really hard fought. Like, these two teams are more at par than we are led to believe. Um, Eriksen got the first goal. They assist by... Who was the guy who assisted that goal? By wind. The guy who was playing up front with Hoylund, that was one of the best assists you will see this year. Like, that assist was just beautiful to watch. Um, yeah, like, I feel like it was just a really hard-fought game. They just really went at it. Um, Kasper Yulman, the coach, the, Den the Danish coach, just shows you, like, they're, they're much better and much more solid than the last time I watched them personally at a tournament. It's good to see Ericsson back playing for his country and doing well. That late run he made into the box, I was so surprised. I was like, "What? Ericsson is making that late run into the D. Like, yeah, it was, it was, it was really, 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 really well-timed. Um, yeah, so Denmark go into halftime, one nil up. And then in the second half, Slovenia just really came at it. And I think the key for them is that they just upped the tempo and they increased the physicality. They were quite physical. Sheshko was insane and... He had a few chances here and there, but the most of the the one that really stands out was the one he hit, uh, the post, and it was just a, like a beautiful for someone with the, of that size to like have the awareness and just turn like in with with like defenders around him and take that quick fast time shot. You know, like he was he's an athletic. He's for someone who's six four or six five, whatever he is, he's quite athletic. So yeah, he then. Just turned short, and I think there was a deflection, or a keeper touched it. So then ended up being a corner, and then from the resulting corner, they ended up scoring to make it one one. And yeah, Yanza, what is his name? It was another deflected shot, the second deflected shot we've seen today. And yeah, I just think that these two teams just really went at it. Hammer and tongs. It was one of those things like. It's like playing your rival. It's like Kenya playing Uganda, you know, type of thing. It's like a derby type of game but i guess both teams will leave with the results like it's not uh that bad because again remember third place is in play the four best third place teams all go to the go all go through to the round of 16 already the likes of scotland on like minus four goal difference so getting a draw first of all it's a point and then you don't have like that negative goal difference i think that really works in their favor um uh, what else? What else is there to say about this team? Uh, yeah, I didn't see much. Oblak, uh, yeah, Oblak had a few good saves here and there. Uh, he's the captain. You can just see how he leads from the front. That back three of Vestergaard, Anderson, and Christensen, I still believe Anderson is a completely underrated, highly underrated center back who needs to be playing for a big side, right? He is he's, he's really good. Like on the ball, he's so calm at the back. Um, Christensen hasn't been playing that much this year, obviously, because at Barcelona, because Kubasi has just come out of nowhere, another 16, 17-year-old, uh, just burst onto the scene and has limited his minutes. So these are really good minutes for these guys, you know, just get to play. One thing I'll say is that they are really, that back three is really big, is really big. But Anderson still, to me, is a very underrated um, footballer in general. Just forget about centre-back. He's just an underrated footballer. So, yeah, I guess... Nothing much to say in this game. Good point for both teams. And now they are uh, in second and third place in Group C behind England, who's at the top of the group. And yeah, that is how the group looks like. And that is Slovenia versus Denmark. 1-1, the game ends.